Italian female sexual fantasies. Do they really differ from men's and have they changed in time? Sexual fantasies are a crucial aspect of human sexual behavior. The aim of this ongoing research is to assess if erotic imagery, themes and scenarios really differ according to gender. Why? To what purpose? Sexual fantasy as a therapeutic and clinical intervention. Understanding how sexual fantasies work and evolve in time according to gender and possibly age can allow therapists to help individuals and couples boosting desire, managing anxiety, dealing with sexual dysfunctions and resolving traumatic experiences. That can be done in ways that are more appropriate to those individuals, more tailor-made for them, respectful of their different makeup. How? Helping individuals and couples in their visualizations, open up the possibilities of it, stimulating their ability, or helping them in restructuring their content in ways to promote the being, personal growth, and couple intimacy. There's a concept of fantasy training. Uh, this has uh, been endorsed by Helen Kaplan in her Sexual Desire Disorders. So, have sexual fantasies altered in recent years then? To answer that, more than 200 volunteers, Italian women and men aged 19 to 72, a broad spectrum of professions, social class, education, and regional problems, have participated so far in this research. This is rather important because it is different from most of the studies based on college students or writing sample of magazines readers, which are likely to bias the data. The sample of participants in this research is quite representative of the population. The data have been collected in public places at events or telematically through open-ended questionnaires, recorded audio and video semi-structure interviews, telephone calls, focus groups, internet forums, a dedicated website with a dedicated email address, and a 24-hour answer machine plus a dedicated PO box, which again is a broad spectrum of means. So, what are the results so far? While some, some male and female fantasy stereotypes of the past still seem to hold true today, a cross-gender picture is rising. Most women are showing an increasingly open, unrestricted, and varied approach to their sexual desire, free of guilt. That's a fundamental point. It's quite revolutionary. Most women enjoyed talking about their fantasies. They were bored, at ease, and they were happy to do it. Things of role reversal, dominance and submission are present in both sexes, even though similar content can trigger different responses and have their origin in, or be associated with, emotional reasons and expectations of diverse nature. So what does this mean? For example, Fantasies of a gambler or a sex with a stranger were mentioned by both genders. However, the majority of women reported that powerful feeling of being at the center of attention, uh, highly desired, uh, feeling irresistible, uh, men losing their heads for them. While for the males, it was more a matter of physical potency, sex supremacy, command, dominance, and control. Conclusions. Sexual fantasy scenarios 
and adopting additional images and ideas from the current culture and models portrayed in the media. In the recent 15 years in Italy, there has been a widespread of popular radio, TV, talk shows with sexologists, sociologists, psychologists, criminologists, which has influenced public opinion greatly. At the same time, the permissive and promiscuous sexual lifestyles of VIP in show business, sports and politics have been openly reported in the media, papers and magazines as well, with the effect of glamorizing them. So greater openness about sex is therefore modifying the perception of what once could have been considered unusual or even deviant sex traits and up to now mostly hidden, denied or repressed. So a new evolving panorama is surfacing which is worth further investigating. Anyone would like to have further information about this research, which is still ongoing, since there are no papers out yet, uh, they can contact me at this email address, so info at danibianchi.com. And in this stage during the Congress, um, if you see me around, feel free to stop me and ask. I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.